Hi, this is Craig Stocks, and welcome to Utah Desert Remote Observatories. Come on along, let me show you around. So here we are inside the observatory. This is what we refer to as the telescope floor. Uh, each night at sunset or after a little after sunset, uh, the roof will slide open, assuming the sky is clear, and the telescopes all kind of robotically and automatically come to life and start getting ready to image for the night. Each telescope in this observatory has its own dedicated uh, concrete foundation. It's sitting on a 24-inch diameter concrete riser that is sitting on a foundation below grade. Uh, so each telescope sitting on about 6,000 pounds of concrete or something like that. So that gives it a very stable uh, platform to shoot from. Uh, each position also has its own dedicated uh, power pedestal that has a dedicated 120 volt, 20 amp outlet, as well as an ethernet jack that's connected to our high speed router. For remote imaging, you need a very reliable power source, and we're fortunate that we have a good supplier here. But just in case, we have this backup generator that runs on natural gas. It will come on automatically if the power goes out. We've been out here about a year and a half, and I can't remember ever having a significant power outage. But if we do, we're ready, and everybody can keep running. And of course, along with power, you need a good source of high-speed internet. We're fortunate that we've got fiber optic full duplex gigabit ethernet delivered to the observatory office and then it's distributed by ethernet cables to each pier. At Utah Desert Remote Observatories, we have on-site support staff who actually live on the property. So we can help you out whether it's simply tweaking a cable or restarting your computer all the way to handling the complete installation of your telescope and associated hardware. The roof knows what to do based on this weather system that knows the not only the wind but also monitors cloud conditions based on the sky temperature. Uh, it monitors the humidity if there's a moisture indicator if it's raining or, or snowing. So the roof is tied to this weather system and if the weather system says everything is safe then the roof will open if sometime during the night clouds move in or the weather changes, the roof will automatically close. And if the weather then clears, the roof will reopen. And it's that ability to close and reopen during the night that really helps you make the most of your remote imaging experience because you can take, care, take advantage of those partial nights. So that's just a quick tour of our little observatory here. You may have noticed this observatory is full. We're in the process of building a second one that should be online probably mid-summer of 2023, and there'll be some short videos uh, following that, that progress as it moves along. So I'm glad you watched. We'd love to talk to you about hosting your telescope here. Uh, you can reach us online at utahdesertremote.com. We also offer imaging rental by the hour. If you want to rent uh, one of our telescopes and go after a special target, or if you want to try narrowband imaging, for instance, that's a great way to sample that. And again, just reach out to us on the website, and we'll be happy to chat with you. I hope you have a great day today and an even better night tonight under a clear, dark sky. Thanks.